So let's start talking about how we actually work with the file, how we manipulate the files. Remember, I was not allowed to even show this drop or click area. And let me just show you, this guy is not even available if the user already have a photo or we already selected a photo. So let me just try and select one. Poof, it's gone, right? So I won't even show this drop area if I have any of those. The user already have a photo on him or I have selected a specific photo. Let me just refresh though because right now I didn't store the image in the database so it'll still show up because now I don't have, the user still don't have a photo and I haven't selected one. So that's why it shows up right now and that's the ng show up here. If, it, if what I just did when I clicked the guy, I made an ngf change event and that event it needs to know where to go when I make that change. And I'm going to hit um, a function called read file image where I send in the list of files selected. In our case, it'll only be one image selected and I know that because I don't allow multiple, I don't allow directives and I only accept images down here. Which makes it possible so that when I click this guy, you'll notice that it says image files here as format. It'll be kind of the same on a Windows machine, the same idea that you can only select image files actually. So going into the controller to find read file image and it's right here. It's a, of course a function, it accepts a list of files and then the first thing I do is are there any files selected and what's the length of them should be higher than, than minus one. Okay great, then I use the first thing right here that I kind of borrowed or found in here on Patrick Riley's um, setup. He made an image service, that's what I'm calling it. In his case, he called it a formulator. I just called it an image service, not to steal the code, just because I thought it was a better name for me. So the image service has a way to read the file from the hard disk. And if I go down to the image service, it is hidden down here under image, under components, image, and image service. I made it right here, the image service, and you can see I still have the formulator here, and the code is his. All of this code is um, from the side right here Patrick Riley wrote so I haven't made any change here it's pretty much making sure that we don't make too big files here it's only four megabytes is allowed you can change that if you want to and then it goes in and read the actual file from the hard drive and then returns it to my um, to my file reader here so that I can actually set the image so what does this image service actually do for me well, it actually takes this binary file and converts it into a base64 encrypted text string. Uh, and what is that all about? I can try and console log it for you just to show you what it actually is. Um, let me get back the image here. There we go. I'll try and print this for you so you'll see what we actually get. So just consider we're getting a binary file back, but I need to convert it into something else. Um, clicking here to get the file and double clicking here. And now you'll see this is actually how the file looks now. It's converted into a base64 uh, encrypted image. So we can use that now and we can show that over here. Let me just uh, undo this console again and I found the image, I converted the image for you. Then we have an original image meaning that now we can hide in the UI here, we can now hide the upload, uh, the ND file upload directive that we've set up. So now that will be gone. As soon as I do it again here, you'll see it disappears. There we go. Bink, it's gone. So that's pretty much how you use the ng file upload directive. See you in the next lesson.